Hey guys, so this is a continue on from the Guardsman James video, but I done a lot of voices in this. I think they were really good voices, if I'm being honest with you. I, I, you guys are going to really enjoy this. A lot I of really voices. enjoyed them. I really enjoyed them. I know you did. <laughs> so share it with your friends. It does See help us out a lot. Will help will like it. And let me know what you think about my voices down below or not. I, I'm cringing at the thought of it. <laughs> so let's get into this. B Guardsman James, slowly dying. After giving warning to buddies, feel lightheaded. I don't feel so good. World goes dark. Wakes up in a new place. Room covered in patches of colour and texture. Parts look like rotting flesh or bone or eyes. Hear a voice calling from closed door. Listlessly walk towards it. Open up door and see pick related. Face melts together. Can't breathe. Can't see. Scream. Be me. The best commissar in Archipelago's existence. The soldiers are having fun. Some of them even invited friends over. There are those tiny green things in the mud bathing with some guardsmen. The comms tower roof has imploded and there's strange lights coming out of it. Always tons of birds, like it's crazy. There's also a lot of tents with activities. Too much smoke for me though. I'll head to the dance floor. It's inside the barracks where I find James this morning. Man, I miss this guy. Everybody's belongings have been tossed away everywhere on the floor. What a shame. They'll be sad when they have to fight in dirty clothes against the orcs that are coming. Wait, what's that on the floor? Is it a sweet bar with almonds? Heck yeah, those are my favourite. I silently thank the guardsman who lost his treasure and take a bite out of it. Crunchier than I expected. Tastes like metal too. What's this inside the sweet bar? Pick related. Be me, Guardsman O'Malley. Klepto Drukian on loan after a munitorium fuck up. Don't even know why I nick stuff. Just see a thing and grab it. Folks have been especially cunty lately. Except Trish, James and Colin. They've always been pretty alright. Kelp one of Brian's lap sacks while he's gone barbecuing orcs. Considering giving it back. Nah. Brian's been an asshole all day. Brian's lackey tries to drop kick me. Catch his ass an atomic brain buster. I'm gonna be chain smoking low to get past today, aren't I? Still me, Guardsman James. Colin went down. I don't know what to do. First thing that comes to mind, I yell at Charles to do something. He asks me what he's supposed to do and why he should obey my orders. I replied he went to a prestigious school, so maybe he knows medicine. If he can't save Colin, he'll have to practice it on his own broken legs. Seems to have him motivated. About time too. A storm is slowly forming at the horizon and we'll need all hands on deck for that one. B. Oh, you Zoganumi, shut it! We's the orcs! Sit around stupid rock waiting for a fight. <laughs> Yous is mucking about. <laughs> Get bumped into by some weak looking grot scratcher. Time to crump this git. <laughs> and I get a good stomping on the tiny git. Start a right proper brawl in this boring tin can. When's we gonna drop, boss? I hate myself. <laughs> Be me. Guardsman 17. Sole survivor of my unit. Get stuck riding back with Cadians. They keep worrying about dumb things not related to battle. Think about my unit. Get overcome with grief that I was not able to die to help cleanse the sins of my homeworld. And around these fills I'll probably die a worthless death. And the Commissar's weapon is severely underserviced, lowering the combat effectiveness of the unit. At least there's orcs to fight. Be me! Gib the snotlin! Life's pretty alright in the rock. Grow fungus, eat fungus, drink fungus. Thinking about finding a nice patch of shade to leave some spores in and settle down. Get crump because I bump into someone. Enjoy life as a macabre... What does that say? Macabre wall decoration. Macabre wall decoration. Spores got spread. Ain't even mad. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute angry. <laughs> Typical angry female like there. <laughs> 10 out of 10 in Bongland. Guardsman O'Malley again. Someone from the Comstar has a good sense to warn us a rock has come. See some ass hat and a tinfoil hat dragging him back in. Go to the barracks to grab my kit. See myself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm not high enough for this shit. Try to wash off weird spoke tattoo. Nope, somebody fucking needled that in. It's also on my shotgun leg. That leg cost me so many ration coupons. It's not even funny. Sigh of infinite suffering, just grab my kit and go. Stop by local guardry of to tell people. 
Why the fuck are they all naked? Never mind. I don't want to know. Tell Trish. Apparently only sane person in the disco. What's up? Start to head out. Realise I kelped one of her glow sticks. And hand it back. Wonder if I should kelp Fancy Hat's pills on purpose. Should be fine. Sergeant's still lucid and alive. Right? Be me. Best and luckiest commissar. Just won myself a golden ticket to visit the Plantera Governor's Sweet Bar Factories. It even says I can bring friends along. I walk up to the stage of the dance floor and grab a vox. People stop dancing. Now that I think about it, there are more girls than I remember in this regiment. Some of them have crab claws. Freaky. Never mind, got something to unite. Hey everyone, guess who won a golden ticket? It's me bitches! And this means I'm bringing you all with me to the sweet factories. We're going to party hard and stuff our faces with the governor. Everyone seemed happy to hear that, especially the crab ladies. The rave becomes more intense. I even get hugged a bit. Now we just need to use the comms and call ourselves a yacht or something to get there. It's me, Gronk again. They got out the glowy sticks the commissard said I wasn't allowed to eat. I ate a few, because he isn't around. See a few friends approach. He walks sort of funny and his leg rattles. I do not like the rattles, and thus, as the sensible lad I am, I consume another glowy stick to calm myself. Casually approach the guardsman. Hello there, new friend. Your leg kinda loud. Please make it not. Thank ya. Fighting, crumping lots of gits. Suddenly some zogging, blingy, blurry thing rings across the rocks. Them sireny things gets the boys looking at him and charging that mech shit. Then the big speakers screech out. Zoggy, it's the boss. All you gets, you better listen. We found a human world populated by the Zoggin on green and pansy weakness. Even heard from them stupid blood axes, they's cozying up with spooky gits. You know what I say about that. Suddenly the old mob gets it by some invisible gits putting us down. We gonna get right into the fight proper fast. Suddenly realise we's gonna drop. Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Be me, O'Malley again. Gronk shows up at the rave. Ogren, not too bright. Friendly, just don't let them hug. Finish telling Trish shit's about to go down before talking to Gronk. He's kinda lied. Takes me a moment to realise he's complaining about the shotgun leg. First instinct is to tell him off. Realise even a broken chrono isn't right twice a day. Somebody fucked with my leg just to put a spoke on it. Tell him I'll give my leg a gander, but can't promise anything. Give Gronk a wave goodbye. Stay firmly out of hugging distance. Head back to barracks to break out the maintenance kit and smoke a low in peace. Emperor knows I'll need it. So a binary code text translated to Be Servitor. Want to wonder why all the normals are freaking out? Can't. This would never happen on Metallica. Be me, Guardsman Brian. We're at sea. Kinda beautiful, really. Same colour as my best poster. Someday I'll see a sister of the blue robe order. I just know it. Colin's dead, or not. Hard to tell. He's so inflated. Charles is working on him under James's supervision. Should we call him Sarge now? Nah, he's a prick. A storm's coming, though. Might be good news. If it's hard for us to navigate, It'll be the same for the red maniacs behind us. Just hoping we see to live another day, really. I'll try to convince James to head for the sweet bar factory. Heard the planetary governor got the supreme limited edition poster from Sororitas Monthly. I suppose he won't miss it. Be me, Tank Commander Olga. Our Lehman Rust tank engines keep losing power. Ask a tech priest to look at the problem. He tells me to give him some space. Me and my driver are having a hot one. Rest of the crew go look for food. I can see our gunner give a good luck sign to the driver. Driver is trying to make small talk. Badly. He puts his hand on my head and asks if I need anything or someone to talk to. Nope out of there and see if the repairs are done. Hear banging. What, what the fuck is making that? By the Emperor! See tech priest dry humping the engine. <laughs> Why is that not shocking in the slightest? <laughs> Why is that not more common? <laughs> he turns to me and makes that machine sound but angry. Turns around back to the driver and asks for another drink. Be Bob the guardsman. Wake up in my bunker with a really bad headache. Fucking Gretchen making noises outside. Shut the fuck up. Throw my empty bottle hard enough it almost rips the little shit's head off. Orcs start laughing outside and say something about pit and squigs. Chug my canteen of water and go outside. 
What the fuck is the pit? And where is my fucking breakfast, you green pieces of shit? More orc laugh. And biggest one grabs me by the throat and drags me to some makeshift arena. Look down in the middle of the arena. Bunch of Gretchens getting brutally gored by squigs. Orc throws me like an empty bottle of Amasek all the way to the middle of the thing. Knife and Laz Pistol have sent you a friend request. Stab and shoot and stab and shoot and bite and stab and stab and bite and bite and bite. Man, that Gretchen really hit the spot. Three hours later, there's only me left alive in the middle of the pit. Orcs are cheering. Grok killer, grok killer, grok killer. Sure, why not? I'm Guardsman Bob, the grot killer now. Be me, Tau Commander Chasomir. Be not me. My entire troops, most comprising of fish people we recruited months ago, been chilling for the greater good. I've been informed that we arrive at our new corner of the galaxy, this one owned by the Guevesa. I ask what they do so we could find a way to integrate them into the greater good. Second in command answer with, they are exporting chocolate. Collectively the fish people go crazy, their madness spreading like wildfire. They overtake the ship and are heading straight towards the factory, all screaming like pick related. Be Shasalahaya, life is shit, ethereal regularly cucks me, forced to smile and let him because pheromones are bullshit. Suddenly people start chanting chocolate. It takes exactly 1.67 seconds for shit to go sideways in epic fashion. Screaming. Pulse rifle shots. Compelled to protect Ethereal. Compulsion cuts off before I can even get out of the harness. Fuck that. Get pissed instead. Yank someone's pulse carbine out of their hands. March over to the dead Ethereal. Pump his corpse full of plasma till I hear the gun beep empty. Start mulching the corpse with the stock. When I finally stop and start taking deep breaths, I notice a few fire warriors have stopped chanting and are just trying to get away from me. Grab my pulse rifle. Fight way way over to my girlfriend. She's crying. Go to confront her. Ship starts rocking. Hug her for an entirely different reason. Flyboys manage to scream over the din to warn us we took a rocket to the engine. Emergency landing time. Wake up five minutes later. Girlfriend's got a concussion. Not even a medic, but I can tell that much. Life's been shit. My ethereal's dead. I can finally start trying to kick life in the dick. Crazies aren't much help. They're either in a coma or fleeing the ship in chocolate lust. Step outside. See orcs coming over to loot the ship. Double check my ammo. Shazu's dead. May as well take the bone knife. Crack my neck. Swear I heard somebody shout, Kill me and burn! Back in the ship. Shrug it off. Dig in for Alamo 2.0. Tao Boogaloo. Be Trish. Things are starting to get a bit hairy at the camp. Up to watery beer number eight. Starting to feel a bit blurry. Went over to the latrine trenches to take care of some business. Forgot teen nature angel lives there now. Some of them don't look so healthy. Maybe drinking copious amounts of sewage wasn't such a good idea after all. Also, some weird little green things are popping up in the latrine trenches where teen nature angel are swimming. Maybe some sort of grot? I think I'll just hold it in for now. Sumble through the camp for a bit. Maybe I can sneak into the officer's latrine instead. If I could only remember where it is. Hear some weird bird noises. Look up. The cog boys and other team architect angel types have been making some weird modifications to the comms tower. Someone has added large biomechanical eyes, wings and tentacles to it that the twitch, flap and flail around, but serve no obvious purpose. Starting to get a bit freaked out by this whole emulate the saints thing. How do people even know if they're emulating them the right way? The pamphlets didn't say anything and haven't seen any priests at the camp for over a month. Head back to the rave to see if I can talk to the captain or the commissar. I saw both of them there a while back. The rave is even wilder than when I left. Most people are sky clad and many of those that aren't have cut up and dyed their clothes into strange outfits. People look a bit different too. Carol's hair has grown about a foot longer than regulations allow and she has added a few cup sizes. Greg is now has crazy good muscle tone, but in a weirdly feminine sort of way. And there are a lot more women here than I remember. Though the one with the multiple piercings looks a bit like Kyle. Weirdest thing though is the performers on stage have somehow put together these really elaborate costumes with claws and horns and skin dye. Looks kind of familiar. Oh wait, I think I've seen a picture of this in the primer. Maybe there's some sort of saint? Pull out uplifting primer from my thigh pocket. Flip around a bit. Find picture. It's in section 5 of the Corruption and Dark Forces. This is the section the Commissar said we weren't allowed to read. Read anyway. 
blah 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 mutations blah 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 corruption of souls blah 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 not all mutations manifest physically blah 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 areas of corruption blah strange smells blah 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 don't look at weird symbols blah blah report strange behavior to your commissar shit 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 that sounds exactly what's happening here start feeling a lot more sober it says to go find the commissar commissar is getting a hug from some chick with cup size f and weird patterns drawn on her skin with glow stick fluid he's either 30 corrupt or just having a bad reaction to his meds again maybe i should sneak off before i also get corrupted the drukian o'malley shows up did he have that symbol on his forehead earlier decide to avoid looking at his face which makes talking to him really awkward. Luckily, he's too busy worrying about where the tattoo on his forehead came from to notice I was staring at the sky throughout our whole conversation. Okay, that was close. I need a plan. The jungle is infested with orcs, so I can't go running out there. Some people are talking about hijacking a yacht and heading to a chocolate factory. Maybe if I sneak on board, I can slip away once we reach an urban area? Be Dirk. Me Ogren. Fighting orcs on a planet called Archipelago. Come back from fighting orcs all day. Supposed to lift boxes with Gronk, the bonehead. Gronk is super smart. He can count to ten. Got orc stabby stick stuck in arm, but couldn't pull it out, so I had the Needleman for help. No like Needleman. Needleman give Needle and say I won't feel pain. Felt pain from Needle, but he said that it was for stabby stick pain. Forgot about Stabby Stick. Needleman pulled out Stabby Stick and put some weird water and then bandage on arm. Leave to go find Gronk. Where Gronk? Go ask new Kriegman. Says a Gronk and the other Ogren at place with loud noises because Ogren loud. Of course Ogren loud. Stop us from getting lost in group. Thank Mr. Krieg and go to loud place. Get to loud place. Many colours and lights make eyes hurt a little. Most people here look scary and pretty, but mainly scary. Go to lady that not so colourful or scary. Where Gronk? <laughs> lady kinda scared. Maybe she see other scary people here. Lady say Gronk just here and talk to funny leg guy. Go find Gronk or funny leg guy. Be me. Rattling sniper rumptious Gronk shanks. Wake up in me hidey hole in the canteen. First thing I see is a big green bloke covered in sick, making a mess of me stash of sweet bars. Weird purple bird in kinky boots and cotton candy air, getting her jollies off behind him. Don't feel like spoddling with this fat green fella, so I bash him over the head with me frying pan. Eat all me sweet bars, spew all over myself, cry, and go back to sleep. And now, the models of our website. Brought to you by neckbeardia.co.uk. Get you all some of these titties. Dwarf titties, or titties, cat titties, fat titties, the gases and we the bit. Vampires and goblins and all the buff champions and even hentai, yeah that too. Dragons, manticores, ogres and no sound bug bearers and even more to you go still. Undead and demons and then our friend Pally and definitely not 40k. Wood elf, dark elf and lizards and Megan the slither and James the look cool as he stands. Beholders and kobolds and tyrants and only in a donkey with a frying pan. If you don't want no models, then no need to bother. We now have subclasses and teas. Also, Garbro's book. Go have a look. Check out the link to Kofi. Thank you for watching our videos and giving our channel a hand. But this is the end, our viewers and friends. So let's get back to the video, man. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Be me, or am I not? <laughs> a glorious servant of Zeech. Mmm, I could be. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know. Spent days, weeks, months, years corrupting this planet in the name of chaos. Or was it Zeech alone and I fucked up? Told the priests about my master. Or did he guess that himself? <laughs> I've been giving nightmares. That's for sure. Wait, I'm not sure anymore. Was I talking to them in their dreams? Hmm, or is it someone else's fault? Commissar has been having more and more bad dreams. I did that, right? Corrupted priest gave him some pills. Many pills. Too much pills. 
Now he unknowingly serving my cause. Mm, I mean my master's cause. I mean chaos. Wait, I am chaos. Who is he serving? I think I encourage serfs to print pamphlets. I don't know. All I wanted was chocolate. Now I've been summoned into the planet. Did I do that? Mm, there's snotlings here too. I hate them, right? Or are they friends? Materials are asking me to call them Yach. How do I do that? I'll summon them a boat instead. Mm, a small one too. I should keep my strength. So that's why I'll be the biggest one ever, yes? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Missed my first spell. Accidentally turned all the knives on the planet into cheese. Or were they already cheese to begin with? Should I check the application of cheese in close quarter weaponry? Miss second try. It's raining rainbow trouts. Crazy weather. <laughs> Now I did it. The boat is summoned, and now that I think about it, what is a boat? We're ready to go to mainland and fuck some shit up. All aboard! Uh, am I ready? Be me, Guardsman Mark. In my infinite generosity, I decide to give Steve another week to get the money. I was so generous that I only popped both of his eyeballs and merged his nose and his mouth into one chamber. Notice that stuff is different around this time. People gurgling blood are normal sights. The dinner lady probably added razor blades to the soup again. Some guardsmen are creating a designated shedding trench. This is going to help keep people away from my latrine. Remember that I forgot to lock my latrine. Rush back as fast as I can. Proceed to turn my latrine into a fortress. My face went. Be Captain Johnston of the Ernest Evans. It's a smoky old vehicle ferry for shuttling between the islands. Things so old it probably has archaeotech in it. Come to the last stop in the route. Some island at the end of the world. Lonely old guards base. Can never remember its name. Still, make for good business bringing soldiers and cargo to and fro. Got the storm behind us. Good thing we left when we did. Get closer to the island. Squint through the binoculars. There's a sailing ship being sailed by guardsmen. The base is in an uproar and blazing with coloured lights. There's big green creatures and blue ones in armour on the beaches and on boats. There's fish falling from the sky. Trying to radio the base only gets a screech of binary. What in the seven stormy seas is going on here? You know what? I don't really fancy docking to that. I take my chances of the storm over this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We may experience a delay in disembarkment and apologise for any inconvenience. Should any passengers wish to disembark anyway, please ensure you bring all your baggage and weaponry with you to swim to shore. Some more binary text translated to The lights from the organic came and made the exposed remnants of my grey matter tingle. Notice some normal taped a gun to my arm. Do they think that will work? B. O'Malley, fix my leg up. Sure enough, one of the assholes who ruined my clan tat and my leg didn't screw a bolt in proper. Not sure how I didn't have a limp. Another one of Brian's lackeys charges at me. This is getting ridiculous. Screams blood for the blood angel. Wait, shit, I, I recognise that line. It's one word off from the words that usually prompt me to ask for a persistent artillery barrage. That one sentence puts a whole lot of shit into context. Fuck! These spoke motives gotta be heretical too. I ain't no renegade. I put a bolt in Red Boy's head. End it quick and clean. Trish has her head on straight. Figure I should go pick her up and commandeer a tie rocks. Check the garage real fast. There's one left and it's all spooked up. Fuck it. Nothing an acid wash later won't fix. Hoof it to the rave. Trish is still there. Looking like she's trying to hide her panicking. Light up a low stick and act casual. Tell her the place is starting to smell like shit. Literally and ask if she wants to ride out with me to some place that smells a bit less like ripe ass. Hope to God Emperor she doesn't mistake my bry signals and glancing for something it ain't. Wait, fuck, I still got a spoke on my forehead. Switch to the standard guard hand signal for rapid exfil. Keep my hands in front of me and out of sight. Take a quick look around. Commissar's doing lines over a really weird looking hooker's ass. <laughs> Honestly, have to try to look away. Because for some reason, that tentacle skirt got me feeling some kind of way. 
I probably look a bit more panicked when I finally look at Trish. B Tao Crisis Battleship Pilot Shazu Liang. Get woken up from my life pod. Get told some crazy fire warrior killed our ethereal. What? Get told the ship's crew are going crazy about Guevesa chocolate. What? Tell my Crisis Battleship squad to sit up and get ready to drop. Aircast lost control of the ship and crashed. Wake up again. See Krut eating the dead savages. Other Tau were dead. Still crazy about chocolate or crying about our dead ethereal. This chocolate must be some new weapon. It's somehow making the fire cast dumber. Is that even possible? I set up my team around the crash site. Can't find Shazu too. Start looting from the dead ammo. Food. Drones. Find some pamphlets with four odd looking people on it. The last pick is a man. Or a woman. Let's call it an it. Squad set up an SOS on Tau only network. Nothing to do now but read this badly made pamphlet. Be me. Commissar Trent. Something's wrong. I feel like I'm throwing up. I think I'm coming down from the pills. The camp is a total shit show. There's demons everywhere and the whole troops have gone to heretics. I'd like to blam some sense into this but a horrid monstrosity holds onto me with her vile crab claws and sully the inside of my mouth. Before I had time to resist I get pushed into another one of those freaks ass cheeks and made to ingest some kind of substance. Oh Emperor I'm tripping balls. Some weird birdman he keeps shouting claims a boat has arrived for us. I get dragged with a mob to the boat, halfly throwing up and trying to make sense of what's happening around me. Some of the traders painted in red are asking me where Dave went. The fuck am I supposed to know? I just mumble something about bringing the catapult. With a little luck those cretins will sit on it. Big guardsman Bob de Grot Killer, standing in the middle of an arena knee deep in dead grot and squigs. Suddenly an orc weird boys materialise next to me and start screaming profanity incoherently until his head explodes and a golden ticket slowly flies down into my hand. Shit's funny and everybody laughs including me. Orc war boss stands up and screams something about crumping spiky humi gits and taking all the humi candies. All the orcs casually start leaving while I stand in the middle of the arena. It becomes quieter and quieter as they are leaving until I'm left completely alone in the middle of the arena. Okay then. About to start to walk back to my bunker to watch some more heretical Thai cartoons when an orc pops his head back out of the exit and yells, Oi! Grot killer! You coming or what you pansy git? Sure, I'll be an orc's pet. He said I couldn't. Follow my new and seeing Xenos friend to boats that seem to float by refusing to understand basic physics principles. Casually walk past Vox Guy on my way aboard. He's now sporting a paper plate mask vaguely cut to resemble the face of an orc. <laughs> there's <laughs> there's an ogre. Honestly it would work though, that's the thing. <laughs> there's an ogrin with green paint on his face next to him, repeating whatever he's saying as loudly as he can, and a few other guys hiding in barrels and boxes behind. I wish I was back in my bunker watching Thai cartoons. Tau Commander Shazomir here. Crazy fish guys crashed our ships. They're now running in all directions, raving about this chocolate. Most of my trips are either in chaos or dead. What's worse, orcs have started to surround us and loot the ruins of our ship. Luckily my soldiers have made a secure perimeter. Scans of the planet indicate that the major cities are built near factories, which almost exclusively produce the chocolate. Most likely the only place we can find what we need to repair the ship. And food too. Order my troops to prepare for an expedition to the chocolate factory. Be Dirk. Trying to find Gronk the bonehead. Other gods may not be in weird. A bunch of them went to the tall house. Some went to the putty house. And some went to find a fight. And others went to the loud place that Gronk wasn't at. Decided to go to putty house to see if Gronk had to go potty. This place smells worse than some of the small orcs I step on sometimes. Speaking of, I step on a few small green things when I enter. Small orcs must have snuck in, but it looks like the guardsmen here are already wrestling some of them into submission. Glad to see them enjoy making the emperor proud. One of the guardsmen comes up to me. Hey big guy, want a gift from the great father? He's holding something covered in duty. No thank you. Need find Gronk. He big, smart, and have a metal on head. He bonehead. Stink guardsman looks sad. Well, I haven't seen your friend, but 
but if you find him, you should come back and celebrate with us. Friends are great. I say okay and turn to leave. My nose hurts from how stinky they were. Not coming back there, even if they are nice. Decide to go to the tall house. Door's blocked, so I knock on it. Hear weird bird and metal noises. Say to stop and leave. Doesn't sound like Gronk or very nice, so I leave. Maybe Gronk and the guardsmen trying to find a fight, so go to where they are. Arrive and see a bunch of the guardsmen are red. Also spot some fellow Ogren who are red and go to see if they've seen the boss. Where Gronk? Dunno. Just got red. Curious as to why they're red and ask, We red angel. Other guys say we shout blood for the blood guy when we fight stuff. That's clearly wrong, so I correct him. No, dum-dum, it's for the emperor, not bloody blood guy. I go get Gronk. Gronk no best. I leave my Ogren friends and they scratch their heads, trying to get the line right. This place is getting scary. I don't like it here. Maybe Gronk can fix this. Well, boys, what do you make of that? I thought it was pretty good. And where do you guys think we're going to go with this? Yeah. I want to know what the factor is going to be like. I can't wait to have, like... Uh, one by one, like, dies off in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Type oh, of thing. it's going to be so good. I, I See if this does go where... I, I haven't got ahead of this yet. Cause I, no, I haven't I, read. I, I saved them for when we're actually recording. Yeah. So I haven't got ahead. I don't know what's going to happen. I really like it. I'm really enjoying this, Slam. But I hope you guys are too, because, look, it does help us go a lot. You know, look, one share of your mates... Your friends. It, I'm sure you know ones who are into 40K. 40K. If they end of 40K, sure. it does help, help us out a lot. Out. Um, I think they're really fun though, and I'm really looking for. I really, I really like Zeech. I think Zeech was interesting in this yeah. one, but I want to know what's going on with the tie because, the, as far as I'm aware, so tie lack the ability to have psychers, yeah, and so they don't have much of a connection to the warp at all. And my view on that is, I'm pretty sure Ty just don't have souls because they're communists. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Can Tau be affected by... Can they be corrupted? Can they be corrupted by chaos? But whenever they read this pamphlet, maybe chaos light? Possibly? Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. But like, we'll find out in the future, will we? Yeah, we'll find out in the next one. And uh, check the links down below to the models. We got some not 40k stuff. Yeah, check all that out. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.